but we're at the Old Town Museum out here in Burlington, Colorado. Let's go check it out. I know where I pay admission at. You know where I go to pay admission? Inside? Oh! There's a welcome sign right there. Yep, we're at Old Town Museum. Here's the map. And there's a lot of original buildings here that we're going to go check out, as well as this this area here that's really not talked about a lot. There's muse uh, The museum holds also automobiles and, uh, like, buggies. So let's go check all this out. Here's the entrance to the town, the old town. Oh, my goodness. Well, I know for a fact that this is an original building. They've got original buildings and reproduction buildings out here, but... You know me, I like the original stuff. Uh, what? Oh my goodness. Western Union Telegraph and Cable Office. What? Original, okay. Pretty cool. Original and transplanted here, I should say. It wasn't you know, like built here on spot, but they transported it here. It's a rail car. Wow. What? Fairmont rail car. 1940s. That right there says Fairmont, indeed. Is this here? Amps. Wow. Oh, they got the old door in the back too, the loading dock. Is that cool or what? Now you can go inside a lot of these buildings, if not all of them. Um, I'm gonna go in the exterior a lot of these first and then uh, go inside. But yeah, isn't this awesome? What is this here? I can't read what that says. M-A-R-E something T-I-C. Is that a trash chute? What is that? Maybe we'll find out inside. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get inside of this one. Huh? Got some mud dabs going on. Little mud dabbers. Okay, let's go inside and send off a telegraph. How's that? <laughs> Donated by H. H. Ernest family in town. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Set my little map down here. Train schedule. Rock Island land, uh, lines, excuse me. What's this cage? What's this cage all about? Well, I think that's just to keep people... Oh, you can go inside? No. The Rock Island Rocket. Steam engine there. 
Burlington, Colorado Depot. Here's some Morse code, and these are the, uh, well, Morse code deals. I don't know what you call these things. I don't know how to operate it, but it's here. Some chiclets? Back in the day, one cent would buy you a pack of uh, chiclets. You can't even get chiclets that cheap in Tijuana. Different rails? Weight per yard on each one of these things? How cool is that? What did I just run into? That's the door, okay. Um, luggage. Oh, look at this old clock on the wall. I love old clocks. Reminds me of uh, when I was growing up, seeing those in the classrooms. Little sink there, a telephone. Timetables. Look at this. This is really cool, folks. Nicely done. Really amazing. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Frost Keller. Mansfield, Ohio. This is beautiful. Okay, let's move on. There's a lot to see here. Wow. Amazing. Justice of the Peace Court. Clarence M. Smith. No food or drink. No smoking in building. Thank you. press that button for more information, but I just want to take it in. Chandelier. Can we go inside? No, we cannot. Okay. It's going to sit in the judge's chair there, but I guess not. <laughs> Law books of all sorts, I guess. George Washington in the background there, sitting behind the, uh, the judge's desk. Wow, nicely done. I'm digging on these jackets. I'm digging on those. Nice little buttons. Very cool. Let's move on. Oops. Don't want to backtrack too much. Real estate and abstract office. This is a bank. Wow. Different 
purses, wallets. Kit Carson County, roadmap. Yeah, this is part of Kit Carson County, excuse me. I know I'm missing all the narration, but I don't want to hear the narration. I just want to take it in, you know? Old barbershop. Whoa. Barbershop, let's go inside. Now, I think you used to be able to not only get your haircut or beard, you'd also be able to take a, a bath, I think. That's kind of like the modern day truck stop. Wow, look at that old chair. If that chair could t tell some stories, huh? What this is it has an A on it. I think that's because you would have to listen to the narration. Press this button, you get the narration. That looks scary right there. That's like Medusa machine right there. I guess this is for curling your hair for the ladies. That is, that's a Norman Rockwell right there. It's like American life there. Oh yeah, here, this guy's taking a, sh a bath right here. Cool. There's some coal, the coal bucket, and then you put the coals in the, what do you call it? Water heater? <laughs> Looks like a stove. And I would heat the water and you put the water into the yeah, very cool. I love this. Oh yeah, here's the bath. This is awesome. 25 cents for a bath. It's $15 for a shower now. Yikers. I really appreciate what these guys have done here. And each room is warmed. It's warm inside there. Ice cream station. Cash for cream, eggs, and poultry. Oh, it smells good in here. It smells like vanilla. Is it vanilla? It smells like a candle. I can't explain the... Oh my gosh, I was just at a creamery today picking up some donuts here in town for the fellows over at uh, Napa Auto Parts who've been very kind to me and ordered parts and allowed me to camp in their parking spot until the parts arrive. Isn't that really nice? So I bought them a, a bunch of donuts. It's restored in 1986. Look at all this machinery. Ooh, they've got uh, milk bottles back there. Very cool. Let's press on. That's Highway 70 back there. If you see this place on your way out or in to the west or out of the west, what is this? Please stop by, especially if you see this big barn. That's the original building right there. Jones and Sons Mercantile and Post Office. 
dry goods, dried and salted meats, and groceries, as well as the post office, folks. Oh my goodness. What? Well, I wish I could walk through this. <laughs> it's locked, I believe. Yeah, it's locked. I can tell it's locked because that guy right there. Don't need to really get that close. I got zoom for you guys. Syrups, crushed pineapple at the top here. Wow. Different wing mechanisms. Measuring devices. Old registers. Christmas greetings. Wow. This must be the post office here. 1958. Post office boxes. And general store. Very cool. Wow. Chopping lock. That looks like a gnarly machine right there. U.S. Slicing Machine Company. It's from Indiana. La Porte? La Porte? La Porte. I don't know. Oh, look at this water cooler. Oh, I love this place. These old signs on the top here going across the ceiling. Yes, I approve of this place. <laughs> GF MacArthur Blacksmith Shop. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Wow. Wow. The motor that runs the belt, that runs this axle, that runs other machines that you hook up to different belts. Isn't that badass? Wow. All the woodworking, or excuse me, metalworking tools back there, woodworking as well. This must be the furnace right up front here. Wow. Of course, the anvil. You gotta have your modern, you know, extinguishers. Wow. I love it. Here's the barn. I mean, this is a barn, folks. This is big. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Thank goodness for low light cameras, folks, but man. It smells awesome in here. I guess they have some kind of performances in here. It's concrete floors, but it's an original building in itself. Old piano. What's in here? Just storage. I'll keep that closed. Branding irons, cattle, different ranches. They say we can go upstairs, shall we? 
I love old buildings. Never been in a barn before though. Not like this. Oh my gosh. What? This is how they built things back in the day? You're joking me. Amazing. It's amazing to be able, be able to walk through these things. The wood squeaking be, below me as I walk along the wood. Floors in here. It's amazing up here. I guess they have performances up here. There's a lot of chairs up here put away. I believe these are bathrooms. I'm gonna take a quick normally I, I normally don't don't do this, but this is the the men's bathroom. It's not done hokey, okay? It's done really nicely, but look at this. They're using mason jars for light fixtures in here. That's brilliant. Anyway, I, I get I get excited about the weirdest things, I know. Let's go see what else this little town has to offer us. Pretty sharp with what they're doing. Apparently there's only three people that work here that keep all this up. So you gotta Give it to, oh my gosh, look at this buggy. It's wagon. And it snows out here, folks. It snows, okay? Look at this. A snow buggy. It has shock absorbers on it. I think it does. Or it's just flexing just flexing oh no there's there's springs on it leaf springs oops didn't see that step Oh, you can get to the other side by going this way around the barn. This is the barn building here. It's a gorgeous barn, isn't it? Wow, look at those. Uh... Oh my gosh, those are, are beautiful up there. Vents? A wind, wind direction? That's something else. Oh, you can't get around it. Okay. Well, I believe there's a sidewalk over here. I like how weathered this one is. I wonder if this is a home. Oh, they have an old adobe building over here too, right next door to this one. 
not part of museum. I was told about this building, so yeah. But it looks great here. I think that's a utility building of some sort. Whoa. Would you look at that? Look at that beauty. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Old Adobe. I believe we can go in this one. Oh, this is cozy. Look at that old, that old oven here. That's where the wood would go in down there. Old bedroom back there. Old cowboy hat. Wild. It's called the Sod House. Homesteading kind of homes. Harmony School, old schoolhouse. Right next to the church. Goodness. Imagine having to stoke a fire while you're teaching at the same time. Be kind of nice, actually, to have a nice warm room like that. Get some studying done, some teachings done. Old map. Yeah, that's a county map, probably. This is so cool. I guess that would be the coat room that we were just standing in. Old church. Let's go inside. Wow. Is this gorgeous or what? Let's take a peek inside. 
I'm here very early and uh, there's not a lot of people here. Oh my gosh, you can walk through this, folks. Whoa. Back in the day, churches used to well, center a lot of communities. It was uh, a lot more important than it is these days. I'm not a religious person myself, but I respect all religions. And uh, they still have a place in society today. but even more so back in the day. Beautiful in here. Look at the ceiling. It has these, these like tiles up there. Nicely done. These windows. Wow. We're going slightly uphill as we leave the. Uh, the main part of the church, the center. But this slopes down. I don't know if you guys can get a good eye on that or not, but it, it's intentionally done that way. Very interesting. It's so peaceful in here. Let's move on. These old street lights. Back in the day, they used to be powered by or fueled by gas. Not these, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. What a great stop this has been so far. And I'm not even inside the building I really want to go in, which is that over there. Um, that's a. Uh, well, you'll see in a minute. What is this? Just some building, nondescript, but we can go inside. Urgh, that's a heavy door. <gasps> Nothing but dolls. It's a dollhouse. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a scary looking one right in there. Dolls of all sorts. So far, this is the highlight for me, is the doll room. I don't know, the dollhouse. It just, it's done nicely. I'm not into dolls, but what a treat. Of course, we got the Barbie dolls up here. Was it the 60s they came out with the Barbie doll? I can't recall, but I had a sister, she had dolls.
Archer dolls. Looks like Charlie Chaplin right there, in a way. Eighteen eighty-eight. Some of the styles are being worn here. Wow. I'm not an aficionado of this stuff, but uh, yeah, it's all here. Check it out. A little tea set right there. Cute. Cute as can be. Two-story building here. Ooh, it has a, uh, I don't know what you call it. I'm at a loss for words. Uh, can we go in this? I would love to walk on this balcony. Balcony, that's what it's called, balcony. Can we go in? What? <gasps> you can go inside. Oh my goodness. Wash your hands before you come in. Comb case. Eighteen hundreds. Ah, excuse me, nineteen hundreds. You guys can go ahead and pause that and read it if need need be. You can always push this button to get the uh, narration, but I'm just gonna take a take it just a peek. Somebody's house here back in the day. Bedroom looks like. Suitcase on the bed. Look at that wallpaper, huh? old timey telephone here. So you just turn the crank here. Looks like a pantry. kettle waffle makers this is a Windsor Chicago that's a beauty right there What's this back here? Oh, a bathroom. Oh my goodness. There's the sink right there. Woman's Home and Companion. Steamboats here. Is this a steamboat? No, it's uh, it's 
the big paddle wheel boats. I think those are steam, right? You got a little steam locomotive here. Horse-drawn buggies. I wonder if this was an ice box. Who knows? This comes out the bottom of the ice box, if that is indeed what that is. Doing laundry is a very different thing back in the day. Oh, baby chair. Ooh. For those important nights and, and holidays, right? You pull out the, the nice wear, cookware. Oh, it's, it's called China, so yeah. 1860, is that right? 1861. Wow, that's old. There's more. Oh, there's a living room in here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. They were living in style with this, with this home. Oh my goodness. We're loud up? Okay. Look at these details, folks. I mean, look at that detail right there. That's the corner of the stair. Each one has it. I guess that makes cleaning easier, keep the dust away. I'm going to the left. Oh, it's gorgeous in this building. This is a closet. Yeah, there's linens in there. Hat boxes upstairs there. And linens down below. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection there, but I can't open it either, so. Goodness me. Goodness. Look at that chandelier. Is that a chandelier or just a light fixture? It's almost both, isn't it? The inside handles are pretty much, you know, to spec, but the outside ones... Oh no, this one is. This one's the same. Okay. If you were wondering, I was noticing that too as I was walking through the museum, that the door handles are not really to spec, except for this building. Um, very interesting. Let's move on. My camera has been turning off for no good reason, so... My apologies. Is this a saddle shop? Soda fountain? Hand dipped ice cream, sodas, cones, and sundaes. Oh, wow. Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. Candy in hand. Look at this, I'm gonna have a seat right here. Wow, look 
Could I have a ice cream float, please? Root beer float? Cameras of all sorts. Back when you had to use your, your noggins, your noodles upstairs to make change for people when they were buying goods from you. Ten key. This must have been the... Uh, I, I wouldn't know what this was for. Are these like elixirs? For different ailments? I don't know. Sodium. Iodine? Item? I have no idea. Oh, prescriptions. There we go. Doctor's office. It's a Rockula. Is that a Wurlitzer? Or is it a Rockula? Is that a Rockula Wurlitzer? I don't know. Big old radiator down there. An old press. This place is. Badass, I'm sorry. Look at this. Stained glass is still inside the mirror. The mirror housing. This is cool. Very cool. Let's move on. Saddle shop, here we come. Harness saddle shop. harnesses of sorts. It smells like oil in here. Maybe from all the leather. It's a singer. My mom used to have a singer sewing machine, but this is for leather, I think. I wouldn't know what any of this stuff is for, but it's for saddles and stirrups, stuff like that. Harnesses. I could use that hat right there. <laughs> this is more my style, I think. Very cool.
Ooh, a carpenter shop. I like the high windows on the side. Whoa, hey, sorry about that. Don't want to break anything. Planers, clamps, old saws. Look at that ax. That's menacing looking, isn't it? Get off my land. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Sorry, Mr. Axe Man. Ooh. See, it's all belt driven still. Jigsaw. Wow. Wow. It smells awesome in here. It smells like wood, of course. They were able to open the Longhorn saloon so let's go take a look and a smell about what's going on wow first off you're struck by the smell in here um it's not bad it's actually very nice it's it's creosote smell apparently it's completely made out of creosote wood amazing it smells beautiful in here. And it's called Longhorn because they got some really long horns in here. They're saying it's the longest horns in, found in Colorado. <laughs> Amazing. Wild West Show posters. Now they have, I guess, Can Can shows in here on the stage over here. As well as gun, uh, gun fights or gun shootouts or I don't know what you call them. There's gun duels going on in here too. Believe it or not, here's the stage. Velvet curtains. I mean, they they went all out. Step up on the stage here. Stage door. Ready rooms? Oh, look at the wallpaper in here. Very nice. Can we go behind the bar? Oh my gosh, you can. You can go back behind her. Hello. Amazing. Amazing. This place is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend to come out here. I've had a great time just walking around today, capturing this for you guys. I could stay out here all day long just wandering around. It chokes me up to be here, it really does. These guys put a lot of, what do you call it? Effort, heart, and work into all this. It's an old cider press. Eagle Jr. That's something else. It's a piece of art right there. This is the end of the road. Eminence Front X5 and Larry signing off for now. 
from Burlington, Colorado. Come check this place out. I beg you, you, got, you can't miss this one. Signing off.